Hello everybody and welcome back to Rift Breaker and today we're going to be checking out the Volcanic Area Reconnaissance. So let's get open a rift and see what it's all about. Rift jump successful. Warning, temperature above safety levels. This area is hotter than we expected. My armor is going to sustain damage from the heat. We've landed in the middle of an active volcanic area. We expected high temperatures, but not this high. The measurements from the orbital scanner were different. Something's off. We won't survive here for long. Ashley, I'm detecting multiple temperature anomalies close to our position. It looks like my sensors are broken. The temperature suddenly dropped in these areas by hundreds of degrees. We received some anomalous readings from the orbital scanner. This might be it. We have to investigate that. This growth formation is very peculiar. It's a crystal entwined in very strong vines. It looks like this life form actually cultivates this crystal. Technology has this crystal contains a rare mineral called ferdinite. It can be used for gravitational field manipulation when combined with a powerful magnetic field. It doesn't exist on Earth. The magnetic field in this biome is acting completely strange. It is very fitting to see this mineral here. We should definitely research these crystals further. This will allow us to gather more ferdinite and create new equipment. Okay, so we are extremely hot. So we need to figure out what the hell's going on. Actually, it must be around here somewhere. I think this is what we're supposed to be doing. We are not going to survive long. We're literally taking a pound in here. So we want to try and avoid getting killed by all these fuckers. Right, we need to go, let's have a look. I think this is what we need to be doing, so, there it is. Oh, so we're running in deposit. Let's keep up the repairs whenever we can. Oh, shit. Okay, so they come out from under the ground. That's kind of cool. seen before the temperature around them is much below the freezing temperature of water oh actually moving closer to this plant we can oh. study it from up close and cool off in its aura oh the chemical compounds but it's trying to be a bio scanner react with the volcanic gases that are present oh, that's cool this reaction sucks enormous amounts of energy from the space around it resulting in very rapid cooling of its surroundings it's an astonishing survival mechanism we can use this effect to our advantage. The space around these plants is safe for us, so we can use it to regenerate while moving around this biome. We should try to replicate this effect. We have to gather enough samples of this plant to research it in our lab. We can do that by cutting them down or by using the bioscanner. I would strongly suggest using the bioscanner. It is much more effective at gathering usable samples. And it will not destroy our safety zones. You can craft it in the armory if you haven't done that already. Well, apparently we did. I don't remember doing it. But we did it. Okay. This is a strange area. Uh... I think that was a meteor. Right, so I'm thinking we build something in. There we are. Right, yeah, I'm thinking we try and build some on this. So let's see if we can build a outpost. Can we build an outpost here? 
I don't know if the temperature is going to be like too high for it or whatever, but. What's all this? Oh, quick save. Hey, you want to try and jump out of me again? Well, there's a lot of scanning that we can be doing here. Oh, shit. Can they avoid my rocket? Uh, CDs are back again. Oh, that, that, that hurt them. Nice try. There we go. Okay, nine. And then we need one more. Ah, uh, that's, that's the top of the map. A new technology has been developed. Mecha. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, I don't know, I've caused a lot of damage, I know that. Right, can we get one more plant? Oh, here we go. <sighs> and it blew it up. We've gathered enough samples to study these cryo plants in our alien research laboratory. Let's do this as soon as possible. If we can learn to replicate this effect, then we should be able to move freely around this biome. Okay, right, let's get the hell out of here. That was a quick jaunt, so let's, uh... Oh, we need to go back to headquarters first, don't Do we need to go back to headquarters first? Uh, research cryotech, research further night handling. You know what, I'm going to go straight to the acidic plains, because I think we can, like, stack on top of here. Okay. Great job successful. Environmental scanning in progress. Ashley, my senses are indicating a highly acidic atmosphere composition. Fluoric acid condensation is definitely abnormal compared to what we've seen in other parts of the planet. Something must be emitting the acid straight into the air. Let's look around to see what we can find. Amazing. These red crystals are really huge. Look at how the light is scattering below their surface. It's mesmerizing. They also contain a lot of rhodonite. We can use this mineral to construct high-powered laser emitters for our weapons as well as other equipment. You already had me convinced at lasers. We definitely need to learn more about these crystals. We should research rhodonite handling as soon as possible. Okay, right, let's build some walls. I'm, I'm, this time I'm going to do it a little bit different. Connect more power plants. I'm going to actually build a little outpost ready to go. Because then we've got somewhere to come back to. Right, there we go. Uh, one there. And one there. There we go. Search the area for the source of uh, condensation, uh, uh, contamination. Oh, we've got some green over here. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Right, let's have a look what we got, because we've got a lot of shit coming up here. Right, what have we got? Nothing there. Research Maintenance tools. Set of passive upgrades for Mr. Riggs. It improves various parameters when inserted into one of the Mr. Riggs upgrades. So build cost and build speed. Oh, okay, so, all right. Uh, movement skill, appearance, mods. We can only do, can we only do one mod? Weapon spread, weapon auto aim. Good chance, good chance, good chance. Damage, damage over time. Plus the projectile, plus the projectile to nearly. I'm gonna use that. Use that. Why do we not have that? idea 
Unless that... Unless this is just what we're stacking up. Maybe this is what we're stacking up. I don't know. Eh. Uh, right, what can we build here? Right. We got power fists and hammers. Let's build both. Just so we've got them. Okay, we got a flamethrower. Well, we may as well build the flamethrower. Dodge roll. Mm, craft item. Okay, we've got energy sensors, set of passive upgrades, force field power. Ooh, very nice. Mod drop ray and resource drop ray. And maintenance tools. Crafting completed. And titanium machinery. Uh, movement speed, build speed, and cooldown. Okay, right, okay. So so we can now change one of our reactive... Oh, yeah. Here we go. Disassembly. I don't want armor... I don't want standard armor plates anymore, so let's just get rid of them. Right, let's put energy sensors on. Oh, we've already got an energy sensor on. And then let's put maintenance... Uh, you know what? Let's put titanium on. There we go. We're not as strong in terms of... Defensive capabilities, but oh, well, acid. Okay. Well, you all died. Oh, uh. Okay, let's go there to see what is causing them. Oh my god, they throw acid balls. Lethal. Oh, crap. What are them things? Okay, right. Well, that's a lot of enemies. Okay. Be rude not to, really. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change my spear for. Uh, have we got going for ammo? For the hammer. Quit. Um, machine gun, shotgun, and rocket launcher. With right, there we go. Right, let's just wait for our scanner. What's this here? The hammer just gets us out of a sticky situation. Oh my days. Oh, this is going to hurt so much. Ah, here we go. Oh yeah, we are we are screwed. Huh, that is a lot more than I expected. Just place some mines down. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep... There we go, we are... Is getting dense. A fog is forming up. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Let's hope we don't run out of ammo anytime soon. It's hard to see anything in this fog. You can't tell me that hammer isn't. Oh, it's so much fun. I love having the hammer. I think the hammer is probably my favorite weapon. I mean, the, the 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 spear was really good. I really enjoyed the spear, but the hammer is just something else. All right, I can hardly see where the hell I'm going here, but here we go. All right, let's do just a little bit of research. Oh, it's doing a save at the same time. Boom, off we go. 
Come up, purple came out. Jump power. Energy. There we go. Right, get on my. You're a moment. Yeah, let's get the rocket launcher back out. Oh my god. Oh, it's this stuff again. Oh, we can actually go around it. No, we can't. The acidic fumes are much denser near this growth. This thing must be responsible for the highly corrosive atmosphere in this area. This life form is multiplying very rapidly. It is subdividing its cells, similarly to earth-based yeast. The fluid inside these cells is highly corrosive. Please keep a safe distance. I'm trying. There must be much more of this acidic yeast growing here. The orbital scanner report indicated that this entire biome is covered in these fumes. We should study it further before sending up a oh, we office. do not want to be going that way. Ashley, I strongly suggest using a bio scanner to gather samples from these life forms. Right, they're going to resist that. It's a highly condensed acid that can easily burn through my armor. The bio scanner will allow us to gather samples from a safe distance. Cool. Build more storage facilities. Carbonium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Okay, see what we can find. Alright, let's go deeper in. Let's make ourselves a path. Oh, crap. Nope, that's growing way too fast. Every time I get close, they end up spawning more shit at me. Oh, they resist acids, so that's good to know. Oh, here we go. We can go around. I mean, I don't know where it's even spawning from at this stage, but... Whew. It is spawning a lot. I'm very fast. I don't know if it's them things or the other things. I think it's something else entirely. Oh, yeah. What's this here? What's, is that it? No, that's not it either. Let's get the spear out. Spear can go in deeper. Uh, spear. Great. There we go. I don't know what's causing the acidic yeast or what. I've no idea what. Is it that? Oh shit, that thing's big. What's that thing? Scan you, come on. Get over here. Oh yeah, resist that, I forgot. Oh, the rocket launcher probably had to do a better job. Maybe I should do that. Oh, shit. Oh, thank God for that. Okay, let's, let's apply the shotgun.
Okay, so it must be the things that I like scanning as yellow on my thing. Oop, save. I can't pick anything up there. Nothing there. Alright, let's have a look. What have we got over here? Might have more over here, possibly? Oh, shit. Oh, you are, but I just nearly stepped into you. Oh, you yeah. there. Crap. There we go. Uh, grenade launcher, I think he'll do. We don't want these crystals actually. Right, uh, grenade launcher, let's go. Bloody acid. Ugh. I always forget that they resist. Come on. Oh shit. Oh, why it launched at me, but that bloody hurt. Right, there we go. Right, now we can collect our little sample. All right, and then we need to get some more acidic yeast samples. Wherever they're going to be. Not around there, that's for sure. Boom. Steel statue. Why can't I not move? Bloody spiders now. Wow, they went up in a big boom. Right, let's see if we can find ourselves some more shit to scan. Oh, yeah. Nearly walked into it. Oh. Acid everywhere. Oh, okay, let's... Let's try and get in there. These things are big. There's a lot more of these around here than there are normally. I know that much. Alright. There we go. And let's see if we can find one here. There we go. One here. Sensors are indicating an imminent release of acidic gases. Oh, very nice. Maybe we should just like the ground is opening up. Watch out for corrosive gas. That over the top of our base. Huh? But it seems to be slow over. Oh, I don't think it actually detected us.
I think we need an upgrade to our machine gun. Ugh. Oh, why did you save right now? I got two of these bloody big things. There's definitely more of these big things around here. Oh, man, I'm off. Yeah, it's just going to resist the damage, isn't it? I don't even think I'm getting any damage on it. Uh, oh, that worked. Good. That worked. Whew. Nine. We need one more. Oh, we should get one more from over here, I think. Oh, I'm stuck. Look on the local plant life. Uh. Okay. Bingo. Get some more samples to start researching them in the alien research lab. Oh shit. We found traces of palladium inside the acidic yeast samples that we just collected. It might be a good idea to search for larger colonies of this life form. They might indicate the location of higher concentrations of palladium. We should construct the acidic yeast colonies that we've observed seem to grow from a central root inside the colony. I'd like to study a living colony in its natural habitat to gather more data on how it gathers palladium from the environment. We'll need to construct a local research station near one of the colonies in order to do that. We'll have to download the necessary technology for that building if we don't have it yet. Ashley, I'm afraid that the research station will not be able to scan the colony from a safe distance. It would have to be placed very close to the root of the colony to work properly. We will not be able to build anything that close to the root without being overwhelmed by its growth, especially given the fact that we do not want to destroy it. I think that we can prevent the colony from overgrowing our base by covering the soil with a structure that the acidic yeast can't grow on. Standard floor tiles are going to be corroded by the colony. We can prevent that. Now that we know the type of acid that this life form is producing, we can research special anti-corrosive flooring that will protect our base. We just need to build the research station on the anti-corrosive floor tiles. There we go. So, we have managed to do two in one day. Um, so, that's us heading back to our HQ with a lot of work to do, um, which is awesome. Uh, so, we'll go ahead and do that and we'll finish off for there. Uh, so when we come back, we've obviously got a lot of um, research. We've got also the, our outposts that we can actually build stuff on now. Um, and obviously, as we start doing the floor tiles and stuff like that, we can build more on. But for now, that's us. Until next time, let me know in the comment section if you're thinking, you know, if you've got any ideas or anything like that, if you want to see something. But um, until next episode, that'll be it. Until next time, take care. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.